Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe from GadgetryTech.com and today we're going to talk about an Excel USB-C 4K dock. This little guy is $100 and it is extremely capable. So uh, without beating around the bush, I'm going to get straight to it and tell you this review is not going to be dragged out. We're going to focus on the basics, show you the performance and give you some final thoughts at the end. So $100, you get two H uh, HDMI ports on the back. One's 4K, one is 1080p. That's normal for a USB-based uh, dock that has video output. I haven't really seen any that do dual 4K 60, uh, 60 hertz at once because of the limitations you get with the USB bus and you'd have some serious performance issues at that point. So just to be honest, uh, 4K on this port, uh, 1080p on the middle, uh, and then you have the USB-C port next to it. USB-C supports power delivery up to 87 watts. So if you have a laptop like this HP Spectre behind me, you can use the power supply that the laptop comes with plug it into here and then one cable into your laptop to handle both the power, the video and data transfers. So on this side, you have three type A ports. This is USB 3.1 Gen 2. So you get 10 gigabits per second on all three ports. They're not cheaping out and giving you one fast one and two slow ones. Everything is full speed. Cable is not detachable, but it's really robust. Honestly, um, every Excel product I reviewed in the past still works. I haven't gotten rid of a single thing because I usually get them for a reason and they all work great. So I'm not too concerned about the fact that this isn't detachable. This is common for travel hubs, docks, etc. So very straightforward. This is passively cooled, meaning no fans or fan noise to deal with. This is a very solid lightweight device and it has aluminum on the outside shell. It's just really well put together. Considering what docks used to look like a few years ago, this is pretty... Uh, evolutionary, revolutionary, depending on what dock you had in the past, uh, but very capable. So there's two types of folks that are gonna be looking at this. Either you travel uh, and you need something that's gonna expand your laptop or even phone because this does work on Android, uh, like the Google Pixel and Samsung phones. You can use this USB-C cable and then with Android's OTG support for external media, mice, etc. you can take advantage of all this stuff and it works well. You just have to download an app and the uh, book and that comes with this will tell you which one to get. So, um, and then the other type of people are the IT folks. If you're looking to get this for an office, this is a driverless dock. Most people see USB and they say, yeah, it's just a USB hub, but the video side can get uh, complicated. Some laptops like this one don't natively do USB-C to HDMI. You need some kind of adapter or driver. And the way this works is there's a, a four gig flash drive built into this chassis that has a 45 megabyte file. You double click it and launch it. And now you can leverage two additional screens on top of the laptop, which is huge. So you can actually do three screens with this one little device using your built-in display. That's awesome. And you don't have to install anything. So from a business perspective, if you have a lot of clients or employees, visitors, whatever that come and go. You don't have to wait for programs to install and do anything fancy. This just gives you a little extra flexibility. And with the built-in uh, storage, you can put a couple other files on it in case it's important. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is to install. All right, now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set this up. So all I have to do is plug it into the USB-C port here on my Ultrabook. And you know what, let's plug in the power cable for my laptop as well. That's gonna give it some juice that way I know I'm charging my laptop, I can keep it running this whole time. So if you're working from home, that's huge. I'm gonna plug this green cable into my 4K port, so that should take care of that monitor. I'll plug the black cable into that screen. Now both of these are 4K monitors, so it will do scaling. You don't have to worry about it supporting it or not. Let's plug in a flash drive, and let's plug in a mouse as well. So my flash drive popped up there. I'm gonna close this window because I wanna show you a couple basic things. So there is a program that this comes with. Again, I mentioned the uh, expandable storage on it. It has a four gig flash drive built in. So if I click Windows Insta View and launch that program here, now I see extended display. So right now um, I'm mirroring these two screens and then this shows up as my third display. So you're really getting one screen plus a second one for your external. Now if I click extended, I now have a primary screen on the laptop and both of my uh, screens here are extended giving me a full three screen setup. Now, because this is USB-C, don't expect super fluid frame rates here. This is not going to be your zero latency 4K screen that runs as if you had a native connection. This is totally fine for things like PowerPoint, um, productivity, checking emails, stuff like that. But don't expect this to be your end all solution for media creation because you just, that's just not what it's intended for. If you do content creation, you either use native 
uh, display connections like HDMI or a Thunderbolt dock, which Excel also makes if you want the full experience. So this is built for a specific reason. Again, it's super compact. And as you saw, that was extremely easy to do. All I have to do is plug it in and it worked. Um, the first time you plug this in, you'll see some generic driver installations. Should only take a minute or two tops to install depending on the speed of your computer. It took this one roughly 20 seconds, 25 seconds, and I was up and running. So that's all there is to it. I mean, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I love Excel products. Honestly, the design aesthetics of this one is really top tier, but uh, the biggest reason why I've liked Excel in the past is because they're durable. Everything I buy from them always works. And I know that I don't have to buy that same type of product again. So um, I hope you found this review helpful and I answer any questions you can you had. The only thing I'll point out with this for long-term use as far as heat goes, I, I mentioned before, this is passively cooled, so no fan. There is a little vent on one side, but I found that this thing evenly gets pretty warm, not burning hot, but they do a really good job at, at dissipating heat on all points of the chassis. This is not... It doesn't have like a hot spot on one spot and the rest of it's cool. So that indicates a poor design. They really just knocked it out of the park as far as design goes. It's, it's, I can't imagine changing it up anyway because they're not adding stuff that a lot of people don't need. There's no Ethernet port here. There's no headphone jack. It's just a lightweight travel dock that gives you extended display with power delivery capable uh, USB-C and then your um, three USB ports, which is great for laptops like this. So that only gives you one USB type A port. That's kind of useless if I have a flash drive and a mouse. So you have to buy a hub anyway. This takes care of that and I get my external display without having to buy anything fancy. So hope you guys found the review helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment below. I'm always happy to answer them for you. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.